As you make your summer plans, you can count on local festivals to once again be part of the fun. Several local festivals are back on this summer. Last year, many of those festivals here in the Northwest Metro were canceled. While festivals are making a return this year, expect things to be a little bit different. Pafu Yang shows us the updated plans. While this summer thousands of people are expected to return to the festivities they missed out on last year. Festival organizers anticipate a successful summer, but they say the comeback has its challenges following the pandemic. We're coming back strong. We're coming back new. See, that's what last year was supposed to be, which is why it was kind of disappointing. Before the pandemic, Crystal Frolics had a plan to reinvent itself. Softball tournaments would be held at Welcome Park, and the rest of the festivities would take place at the newly renovated Becker Park. But that didn't happen. Of course, last year with the pandemic, we had to cancel. It was quite a blow. It was very hard to do, but it was the right thing to do. This year, Crystal Frolics is back and they're sticking to their reinvention. First student bus transportation is going to have free shuttles between Welcome and Becker. Beer tents, food trucks and fireworks are all part of the fun. For summer festivals in other cities, operations will look a little different. Some of the events will be back um, as they have before. Um, some will be a hybrid of them. Pam Sheeler with Robinsdale Whiz Bang Days says there won't be a block party due to COVID. Instead of an actual physical parade moving down the street, it will be what's called a reverse parade. So the units will be stationary and then um, the people can drive down that set parade route. But like with everything, there's a price. You know, we just have to watch what we're spending. Businesses that typically sponsor the festivals were hit hard by the pandemic. We have reached out to them, we've asked, but you know, don't expect the kind of donations that we normally get. Both groups use donations from the year before to fund their events. The hope is this year they'll have enough to keep going strong. We're hoping now that things have started to open up that that will change. Especially if it means families get to be together. You've got an opportunity to get together and just let loose for a change. Pafua Yang, CCX News. Maple Grove Days will also return this summer, and you can find a festival schedule on our website, ccxmedia.org. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.